and I want to cross the road. I will be run. Oh my god. <laughs> I will be running. I didn't know that they were waiting for me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, girls. My name is Funky Eleven. I'm a Nigerian immigrant here in Canada. And basically, I post videos about my lifestyle in Canada. Make sure you subscribe, give a thumbs up, and like the video. And with me today, I have a friend of mine. We started this whole permanent residence process together back from Nigeria. So we say hello to everyone. <laughs> have fun, just subscribe to people are watching. And we decided to do this video together just to share our culture shock since we are like a year in Canada, right? Yeah. And how did that? Yeah. <laughs> the first thing that shocked me, maybe let's say in Canada, when I left Nigeria, the first thing is the disposal mm. system. Oh, and I saw the system of training there. Because nobody will tell you, you will just click. You just have to do the right thing. It, it really shocked me because where I'm coming from, everything goes into one bag. Thank you. That's the biggest one. So there's the recycle bin, mm -hmm. there's paper bin, then there's food bin. If you make the mistake of mixing, you can't even make the you mistake. can't even make the mistake of mixing. The, you know, in Nigeria, the worst thing is dustbin. Yes. But here. But here. <laughs> but here. Dustbin is valued. Very, very valued. Oh, boy. Very, very valued. What shocked you when you came? One of the biggest shock for me. We Nigerians, we are just in. It sounds, it sounds like quarrel. But if here, just, if you shout. raise, we are just talking, but if you use As that you volume, now, use that shout, same volume yeah. to talk to them, it's like, why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Is everything okay? But they don't used to speak open their mouth. Mm -hmm. Under their nose. And with mask. I would like, yes, I have changed. You learn the time. Mm -hmm. yes. You learn to pick it. Thing. You yeah. pick words. And even if you're not getting everything they are saying, you know, like, yes. you know, you're not yeah. like, okay, excuse me. Yeah. Can you please repeat that? Then and so you get confidence in, in, your, in asking that. One year down the line. We are getting it. We are getting it. We are beginning to understand how they speak and how you have to flow. Yeah. You, know, you don't have to shout for you to be heard. Yes. That's the thing. You, you don't, don't have to shout. I think the next thing that really shook both of us. still shocking. The time zone, longer days, shorter nights, and so the longer days. nights, there's one that says, shorter days. There's another one that says, uh, time zone, time saving. Time, daylight, daylight saving. saving. Now, for geography, I've been mean, the year all these things. Man, the reality has come. For the reality, come <laughs> like this. All those things where they learn for geography, for school, then. This is where they But see when winter started. Hmm? At first, it was fun to see snow for like the first few, few weeks. Days. A few days. Yeah. But few when days. we now realize that 4 o'clock, 4 30 everywhere is dark. 4 30 p.m. It's when, supposed to be afternoon. Afternoon. It's already evening. So that one really shocked. We see, guys. All those things that we are talking about, we hear them, we read them, we saw the movie, watch them. <laughs> so we know say it is. Yes, then you came here, the reality, reality didn't set in until yeah. we came in here. And yeah. we saw the same thing on that time zone when we switched from winter to summer, and then my workplace is an eight hour, um, twelve hour shift, eight to eight. So eight a.m. the day is already very bright, and at eight thirty p.m. when I'm coming back home, it's still, it's still bright. That thing just me. With my mind because you, know, you can't sleep early. Exactly. You see, from Nigeria, what's everywhere is dark, you know, saying at night. Yes, but, but this yeah, one, 9, 9 p.m. The day we, we, our 5 p.m. back in Nigeria was 10 p.m. here. My brain could not just really? accept it. So that's another thing the time zone. Yeah. What else? Yeah. What else? What else do you put in our list? The, the, the um, weather. So I came in September, so I think I should start off. Yes. Thank you. And the weather was not so crazy cold yet. I came in September. That was just the entrance into fall. And I can't tell you how many people, in our Nigerian community, I can't tell you how many people laughed at me. Because to me, that was cold. Don't even, don't even say that. Me that I came in May, <laughs> I was complaining of cold. It was but cold. But I didn't know I never see anything. When oh. the cold came, everybody kept saying, yeah, don't not, worry. <laughs> Everybody was telling us oh, that you guys came in the best car. Yeah. The cold has just gone. And I'm like, I'm freezing. The one that made me annoyed was the guy who came to pick us at the airport. When he came to pick us to shop for some of the things we had, he came in shorts. And we're like, are you, are you, are you, are you whining me? <laughs> so guys, the weather, the weather is really, really crazy. But yeah. I've realized that in Canada, you don't dress for fashion. No, 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 no. You ah, dress to suit the weather. You dress for the weather. You're up. Your weather app it on your phone. It becomes the most used. 
You see, they say they use you can't, now, you can't like, just wake up in the morning and go out. And go out. You I have to check the your app first to be sure if you want to leave the house in what you plan to wear or not. Or else you'll be rudely shocked when you leave the house. come back home you fall sick. Guys, the weather, in fact, we are still. Have you gotten used to the weather? No, you can't. You adjust your skin, we adjust this weather. Then when the next weather comes, it has to quickly change adjust again or skin. else. But you so can you... see we are glowing. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that part, that part is so the yeah. next thing. Um, oh, this one blew ah, my mind. Nice. Guess what it is? Value on pedestrian triumph in Nigeria. They go pump. Come on, Let me, let's break it down for you. So you want to cross the road in Nigeria, right? You look it, I think it in Nigeria they teach that you look left, you, you look, look right, and you look left, left again, again before you I'm cross. Really, really like this. As you are going, person. I've seen videos where people are running. As in, don't, you don't have to me. I'm a living testimony. Now I'm using Abuja as we had to. Okay, yes, imagine thing, Lagos. She, she, she came from Abuja. Me, I came from Lagos. So uh, we are world apart in drama, but when we okay. came here, we we're unified. I see, the first time, <laughs> when we came at first in May, we we're taking bus and all of that, and I want to cross the road. How would they run? Oh my God. <laughs> I'll be running. I didn't know that they will wait for me. I'll be running. Ah, no. No. Even if you, you are wrong, that's the one that blew my mind. So a few days back, I was to pass somewhere. I, I wanted to take a long walk mm-hmm. and then I wanted to enter Walmart. But the place where I was passing, there was no pedestrian walkway. Walk. So there's no place I could just cross, cross. the road. I eyed it like the Nigerian that I am. You when I saw that, that it's possible, I entered the road. But when I got to the next part of the road, you know those double lanes, mm-hmm. the next part of the road, it was not possible. I was just standing there, and mm-hmm. they stopped. How stop? You get? I didn't enter road though. They just, just saw standing. me standing by the side of the road. And it's not a pedestrian cross. They will they stop. stop. There's value in pedestrian. No matter where you are driving, no matter who you are. Even if the pedestrian is not normal, you and will stop. stop. You will you stop. Know. You you will stop on the road. When we started driving at first in this place, I'll be like, "Hey, normally for Nigeria, we'll say, come on for road. Why you they walk us now? Eh?" Another thing on that okay, pedestrian good. thing is we went for months and we didn't hear on. Oh. Ah, that's something else we do not forget to. That's the that's the next point, guys. Traffic rules and regulations. Even when you, far, far, do you, you don't get it, on. when you are going home back in Nigeria, you are praying. Let there be light. <laughs> no, we don't. De- we don't de- jump. Okay, we don't. De- Let's, jump. Go Let's, go Let's go back. Your part Let's go back. Pedestrian. So the next one is traffic rules and regulations. Everybody obeys traffic. I was shocked. It shocked me. It was a culture shock to me to see how people can maintain one lane. In Lagos, two lanes it become five lanes. I get that. Point. Not completely because I'm in Abuja. So. Hey, ah, it will be terrific. But people obey the rules. You know the one that shocked me first when ambulance is passing. Everybody moves to the Completely, as in, no matter how urgent where you're going to is, so there is value on ambulance or police. If you hear the siren, Siren. there is value in life, and it was a shock to me because 29 years of my life, I live in a place where constant craze, constant craze. Another part in that same traffic, the same traffic discussion when I was preparing for my um. Learners from its exam, and I saw that there's a distance between the car, and even if it's a bicycle that is on, there has to be a proper distance. I thought, okay, it's just theory. This course we're writing exam. When I saw it in reality on the road, it has to be bike. As when I mean, when we talk about bike, we're talking about bicycles, not proper or bicycles. <laughs> you that have a car, if you like have a G wagon, you, you can't have, go, can't go close. close to the bicycle. You have to keep a certain meter apart. I know it's a normal thing, but it's shocking because I didn't come from a place you where, up where it is where upheld, it's where those rules are upheld. Maybe that's just what is breathing. Guys, you know, in Nigeria, especially if you come from the Yoruba part of Nigeria, mm-hmm. you greet for everything. everything. You, you greet Ekule, Ekabo, Ekume. You greet for literally everything. Here is a different system to it. And you cannot be offended by it. Yeah. In Nigeria, if you greet and somebody does not answer you, well, you will tell yourself, I am not greeting you again. Oh God, you were so lame. 
Because I remember oh. times that I know. That they used to say me. Now, I, I, when I think about when I got here, I'm like, oh, I wasted so much mental, <laughs> mental stress. No, it's it's culture, you know. We know that when we're raising yeah. our kids here, yeah, we want to imbibe some culture yes. that we brought from yeah. Nigeria, yeah. like greeting. When you see an adult, greet and all of that. It keeps us, it makes us different, yes. actually. And it keeps morals, good, I yeah. guess. Which is very, very good. You're recognizing somebody as the adult. Yes. So it's, it's actually very good. But what we're trying to talk about is as adults in a setting, greeting, greet, their greeting is how you doing? Or hi, hi. And hello, they don't hello. answer you. And they don't answer you. Don't take offense to it. You just walk fast. Just move on. Yeah, I maybe. didn't know before. Oh. But I realized that it's possible that you just greet your neighbor. Even if, sometimes the person can just move. Yeah, just <laughs> move. Then, and it used to do. And that's all. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't click with me for a while. So we moved to an apartment. And you have to use the elevator. So you don't need to see someone in the yeah, elevator. You, <laughs> you want to say you hi. Say, hi, hi and me, my ministry is greeting. I can greet for Africa. So immediately I enter the elevator, I'll go, hi. And then there's dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> just my God. That's all. You're good. And sometimes they don't even greet. They just go, oh, the weather, huh? Mm, the we- yeah, yeah. That's a greeting, you know. They just greeted you. Just take it like that. Go. The weather, huh? That means, oh, they really like it, or they don't really like. It. Just go. Hmm, I know, yeah, right? I know, right? That's all. That's all. You have just greeted yourself. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. That's all. You, you know, you move on. Like the greeting, I have to learn that. So whatever it is, they bring at you. Just and you not even date and now don't because expect, you, you also have to learn to relate with them. And I work from home, and I realize that greeting means hello, hi. Yeah. Hello. So good Hi. afternoon. No, How are what you? is good afternoon? I define good afternoon is long thing. <laughs> I've never had good morning from I, anybody. I do it too. <laughs> good afternoon. Good One year in, I'm still doing good afternoon. God will help what us. What at, at the same time? It's hi. How you doing? Which one is good afternoon? I'm expecting morning. someone to ask me one day, why do you say good so so and so? <laughs> they don't I will yeah. teach you. It's a bit of an opportunity for me, but at the because, same time. I think the reason is because what if their afternoon is not actually good? Yeah. What if their morning is actually oh, good. good? So you just say hi, hello. You can't say bad afternoon, bad morning, yeah. right? So you just say hi, hello. Basically. Another part of the greeting that it, it wasn't it didn't shock me, but it was confusing because I didn't understand what it was. was um have a good one. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. It's supposed to be have a good, good day. day. What's now the one, one. <laughs> by this time? That was another culture shock for me. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, that's it. That's how they take that's it here. So yeah. okay, so me too. Have I was to like, learn to have adjust. a good one. Yeah, the one that came to another man's land. You so learn. We, we have to learn to yeah. adjust system. But if we see our regular Nigerian, oh, do you care? Like, Check how far, how you say, good evening, share our far. You know that kind cool. of level. But when you want to relate in general, it's very important that you understand the nomenclature what yes. they use here. And then and one last thing, we went to make our hair on Wednesday and we had to teach the Jamaican lady. No, even we had to teach. Because so, you know, in, in Nigeria, ba, we went to, you can see, we are locked doors. <laughs> in Nigeria, ba, when somebody is doing something for you, what do you say? Well, well done. done. In Yoruba, ekushe, you get. It's just so, normal. It's just normal. Unconsciously. Where do you want to do our hair? We tried to say, well done. She'd be like, the first time I told her where when she was washing my hair for me, she looked at me and said, what did I do? I'm telling you, you know, she doesn't get, she didn't get the idea of well, well done. done. Like, we are trying to greet you. Like, instead, we'll have just said good job, right? Yeah. Like, so, that was what the translation is supposed to like, be. Good job. Good job. Like, good a good job. job was too long yeah, for us. Because we knew well done. Yeah. I've had to teach some of my colleagues. It was fun teaching them because then it made me more comfortable to use my well done. And then they begin to use it and feel part of my culture. Sure, sure. Yeah. But it was also fun. But now, me, I'm, me, I'm, actually, I'm actually getting used to saying good job because I haven't said it to my daughter. Like, yeah, good job, good, good job. job, good job. So, well done, well done. That's All right, on to the next. Mm-hmm.